Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Merth Connect on Windows 11. I have a community post here in the community about the installation with the links and installation steps. So you can find the link here to GitHub. This is the version 4.5.2 and this is also the last open source version released by NextGen since NextGen made the decision in March 2025 to make the next versions closed source. So here on the GitHub page you can find the x64 installer. So let's click on that and download it. It's a 260 megabytes package so it's really fast to download. On the GitHub page you can also find some installation and upgrade instructions but we won't be needing those because I'm going to show you how to do the installation. Once you have the package downloaded just double click on the installer to start it. When you get a pop-up click yes on it and after that you get to the setup screen where you can press next and read to the license if you want and then accept next and next and we can decide the installation location the default is fine so here it says you can leave the license e blank if you don't have any commercial extensions so let's click next and we do want to install the Merth connect server and the server manager and the admin launcher all the command line interface why not let's do all next so if you would have some extensions some commercial extensions you would select those here but we don't so let's click next then we can select to put it in start menu that's fine and then we have the web start port and admin port so if you have nothing special installed on your machine those should be free so you can just hit next and then in this pop-up we can select allow. We could set up some password requirements but since this is just the local development installation I'll just leave those in the default settings. Data paths let's also leave those default and install service yes. So pretty much it's just hitting next also downloading the Merth admin launcher for us so oh, that's Andy we don't need to download and install that separately and now the installation is complete and it's saying that it will run the Merth connect server manager I'm fine with that the readme file we don't need to view it so let's just untick it and click finish now we have a pop-up about the Merth connect admin launcher installation so let's click next step to agreement click next next and the default location is fine so let's click next I think this requires Java 17 so it's bundled with OpenJDK that's nice so go ahead installing that and click next and next that's doing the installation for us and now the installation is complete and we can say run with connect admin launcher and let's click finish and we should get a pop-up. So this is the admin launcher and 8080 was the web start port. Let's hit next. Oh sorry, launch. And now we get a pop-up for the login to Merth Connect 452. And if I recall correctly, admin admin has been the old username and password brought in to the system in Merth Connect. It allows us to customize the username and password. But I'm just going to put admin, admin, leave it at that. And click finish. And now we have Merv Connect Administrator up and running. And we can start creating channels. If you found this installation video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and if you have some questions or comments please do leave those in the community the community page will be linked down below in the description thanks for watching